And welcome back to tonight's MLB pregame show as we ramp up to the first pitch this evening. Should be a good one. And as we prepare you for it, we present our tops player spotlight. The dude, Gerald, has people around the game buzzing. He took home the AL Cy Young Award last year, and we can see him there receiving the award from his manager just a few moments ago. Well, the secret's out on this guy, Dero. He is not only lights out. This guy can get it done. Pitches deep into games. He can eat up innings, and more importantly, his stuff is elite. I agree, Dan. He shut down the league all season long. I'm interested to see if he builds on last year's Cy Young award-winning season and gets off to another hot start. Okay, we're looking forward to this one. Lineups and first pitch on the show coming up next. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Boston Red Sox and the Chicago White Sox. It's White Sox Baseball, and it comes your way next. The dude, Gerald, gets the ball for the White Sox in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Man, he pitched really well in his last one without allowing a single run and picking up the victory. Let's see if he can bring that stuff back to the ballpark with him and make it two really strong starts. So striding forward now, Delino DeShields. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Center fielder, Delino DeShields. First pitch coming, here it is. Good slider there, gets a swing and miss. And guys, you take a look at the White Sox entering play here tonight. They've had it going the last 10 games. They're seven and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, the first game of any series is super important. You have a chance to set the tone, whether it's three game set or a four game set. You take the first one, you put that other team on their heels. Behind 0 and 2 now. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Batting second. Adam Eaton digging in next. Adam. As with one away, he can't oh, make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. Late swing on that curveball right there to run the count 0-2. Don't think he recognized that one too well. Okay, we got one here. We got one. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Bases are empty. One man out. Here we go, guys. Softly hit to short. And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, there's no doubt the skill set of Delano DeShields is something to keep an eye on. He's been the fire starter for this team. Last 10 games, how about an on-base percentage of over 400? As he goes, so goes the team. He's playing great ball that and making third. things happen. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 268, the average for him coming in. Seven homers and 28 RBIs. The windup and the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. And there are our umpires for this one. Working balls and strikes will be Mr. Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much for my liking. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report with that. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Red Sox nothing. White Sox coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show.
And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez as we take a look at the splits between April and May. J.D. Martinez. Hey, no outs here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Mm, a little tardy oh, there. No balls and a strike. Here we go now. Let's go. And here's a foul ball just off to the right as they get ahead of him here. Nothing in two. Martinez playing here in his age 34 season. He was a 20th round selection back in the 2009 MLB draft. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. Got him. The slurve that time, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. That is it. The third baseman, Rafael. Here now is Rafael Devers. That's popped up. Moncada onto the grass. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Next up for the Red Sox, Jesus Aguilar. The first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. Here's the first pitch to him. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. And we got two. Big swing at the knuckle yep. curve gets okay. nothing but air. 0 oh, and 2 now. Hey, come on, guys. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. The next 0 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. Standing in, Christian Vasquez. Seven, eight, nine, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Vasquez. No out. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a knuckleball here is bounced to second base. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Digging in, David Fletcher comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Fletcher. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Now let's go. Oh, and one, here it comes. Ah. Hey, we got one. Here's oh, a little oh, chopper up the middle. Reined in. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Coming to the plate now, Tyler Nevin, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Tyler Nevin. Hey, let's go right here. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slurve, strike one. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Skied into very shallow right. Mazar is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Digging in for his second at bat, Delino DeShields. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. 
Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. I'd like to see this lineup start working the count a little bit more and drive up this pitcher's pitch count. Behind 0-2 now. Here we go now. Let's go. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he got him. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Ready for another chance? Adam Eaton. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Eaton, 33 years old. He's currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Swing and a liner, but foul. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. And the off-balance oh, throw will be too late, so a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. Hey, listen, d -Row, they're not going to complain at all. A base hit is a base hit, even though that's an infield single. And hopefully, that's a good sign that things are about to turn for them in this one. Yeah, there hasn't been a fight at the bat rack, per se, Dan, in this one. I don't care what knock. I don't care if it's a swinging bun or a home run into the streets. This could get the offense going. Strike called. Now the throw down. It skips in, and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt, Matty. The ball isn't carrying well tonight, and we haven't seen any home run, so sometimes you have to try for something else. Now with seeing I single could be all it takes to push a run across. Hey, here we go now. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. He's got it, and he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. So two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth, and into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. First offering on its way, and that's in there for strike one. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. I got to hold him right here. No runs, just one hit and one error on the Boston yeah, line yeah. score. Ball. And low, it's a ball and a strike. There is a base open here, so the option to work around him is there if they want to go that route. The 1-1. One, one. Fly ball out to straightaway right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One left for the Red Sox. They trail things here two to nothing. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Rafael. First pitch coming, here it is. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. This guy loves to drop the head on those pitches down and in. I'm shocked he went in there, but he's able to jump ahead and get away with it. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane, as yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. And the knuckle curve that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. 
Digging in to try it again. Jesus Aguilar looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold 0 and 2. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up hey, one hit so far. I'm go. not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. Wow, talk about being efficient. How about six pitches, two strikeouts? Doesn't get much better than that. Now batter. In now, Christian Vasquez. Christian. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Two down, two down. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. Five innings have been no problem as he's got the shutout working. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the White Sox three and the Red Sox nothing. Coming to the plate now, David Fletcher. will start things out in their oh, half of the okay. sixth as they look to the shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, Fletcher. has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've oh, been no, completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Here we go, boys. Come on. Now batter. Into the right box, fielder. Tyler Nevin. Tyler. Nevin. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The 0 1. This oh. is popped up. Oh. Take it, take it. You got it, you got it. And quickly, two are gone now here in the visitors' half of the sixth. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And up to bat. Next, Delino DeShields. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Hey, come on now, guys. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Now he'll try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. No runs, just one hit and one hey, error on two. the Boston line two. score. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They trail it here three to nothing. In now is Adam Eaton. He's one for two in this one. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to Adam. score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. The 0 1 pitch. And 
and he struck him out. So double digits now, 10 strikeouts for him thus far. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strikeout there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. The batter, number two, shortstop, Xander Bogart. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Hey, let's go right here. That evens it up one and one. One and two to the Boston shortstop. His slider has been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. One down, one down. Got him swinging in the dirt. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. Here's J.D. Martinez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Hit in the air down the right field line. Headed after it is Mazzara. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. Still down 3 nothing. So digging in now, Rafael Devers. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make him try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just Help about getting Help ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Rafael Devers goes down to become the first out in the eighth inning. To the plate now, Jesus Aguilar. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The wind up and the 0 1. Swung on and missed that strike two. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hey, hitters off balance. Right here. Give him the heater. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Now batting. Into the box now, Christian Vasquez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 1. No hits to this point. Hey, we got two. Hit out towards second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Can't ask for much more than this. Eight shutout innings thus far. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. And the White Sox are out in front, three to nothing. Standing in, David Fletcher. He'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. David. Here's the first pitch to him. Yeah. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. The wind up and the 0-1. Little one, one, chopper one. back to the mound. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So right, stepping in, ahead. Tyler Nevin, 0 for 2 from right him field. so far in this one. Tyler. He's ready. Nevin. Here's the first offering. And he just keeps oh, rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that one slider, ball, strikes, as yeah. we just saw. To one and two now. Here it comes. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. The and here's the second generation big leaguer, Delino DeShields. And it's grounded just foul down the line. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Oh and one here it comes swing and a liner foul now a crowd of 31,000 plus come to their feet this is on the ground over to first right to him and he'll step on first for the out and the ball game is over oh man so close but yet so far can you imagine giving up one hit Pitching such good baseball for nine innings, but one base hit kept him from baseball history. And tonight's ends is a 3-0 shutout win. Chicago led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. The dude, Gerald, earned his ninth win of the year, racking up 14 Ks in doing so. Jay Groom was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB.